to the question why the MBB of a machine. So yep. I don't know if you remember, but when I contacted you, I asked you if you could have one hour for me, uh, one to one. And I think I offered like 200 or 250 pounds. And you said, uh, no, this is not what we do. Yep. Um, so at the beginning I was puzzled. Why would anyone refuse 250 pounds <laughs> for one hour of time? Yeah. Um, so I thought I started to think there was a serious program at that point. And I started to investigate uh, what you were proposing, why you were not spending one hour of time with me <laughs> practicing a case yeah. um, for that much money. And I learned that was a um, full technique um, that I had to uh, learn. So that's why I started to believe that was probably the best option that I could offer myself. Because online there is plenty of resources, there is a ton of information, but I really wanted to have something that was adding value. And also I couldn't waste much time. So when I saw your program, it looked very, very focused, really added value with the minimum amount of time I could possibly invest. Hi, Stefania. Hi, Sidi. How's it going? Yeah, very good. Uh, and uh, it's actually my pleasure to have you here today. Um, you just started a new chapter in your professional life and your professional career by breaking into MBB. Um, and uh, you've joined uh, yeah, your dream firm in London. So uh, congratulations for this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very nice. So um, we will speak in a bit about how we have worked together uh, to make you offer ready, how we always call this. Um, but uh, the first thing that I uh, believe interests many folks out there is um, how did you experience the actual interviews? I mean, um, did it feel stressful for you or were you nervous or uh, were the interviews very strict? Tell me, how did it feel? Um, so I was really nervous. Um, it, it meant so much to me um, that I felt like my whole life was going to be tested in one hour. Um, <laughs> however, I have to say that uh, my interviewers were very nice and they were trying, I felt like they were trying their best to make sure I could give the best part of me during the interview. So I felt uh, little by little a bit more comfortable in talking um, after they introduced themselves and we started the interview itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, th that's very interesting because, I mean, this is indeed something where also uh, when people people ahead of their interviews are usually trying to Google a little bit, right, finding out how are these interviews. And sometimes you feel uh, or you see these concerns that people are having, like, oh, will they, you know, will they try to trick me in any way, mm -hmm. right? Um, but uh, this is, um, and uh, I'm glad that you're also saying this, this is what I can also confirm from, from my experience, right? Um, interviewers are trained to actually try to create a comfortable you know environment for the candidate so that the candidate can really show what he or she is capable of doing right so uh, very good that you also felt it in that way yeah um, absolutely so um, now, um, I mean, it's been already yeah a while ago since uh, you reached out to us, right? And uh, we have then subsequently worked together to prepare you for the interviews with the firm. Now, if you're thinking back, um, what was the driver for you to actually reach out to us, right? Seeking professional help. Um, why did you then decide that, yeah, the MBB offer machine was the way to go for you? Yeah, so um, in proper consulting style i have three reasons <laughs> um one was i was looking for feedback uh for what i prepared uh, so far hmm. second i had little time so i didn't want to waste time in yep. um, little added value uh, activities hmm. and then um lastly i wanted to give myself the best chance this was my last chance to mm -hmm. uh, probably enter an MBB company mm -hmm. and therefore I want to really look for the best I mm -hmm. could. Okay. I can expand a little bit if we have time. Uh, I'm not yes, sure of how. course. Feel free, right? Whatever uh, whatever you feel um, uh, is, is, is important in this respect. Yeah. So then uh, if we start from point one, um, the feedback was very important because I spent already about 200 hours uh, during one year and a half, uh, reading books, uh, doing by myself cases. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't, I never had anyone um, to tell me how I was doing. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so this element of calibration was lacking, right? So yeah. you were only, I mean, you, co you could only rely on yourself essentially yeah. to get a feeling of, am I actually improving or not? But you did not really have this, this calibration feedback channel. Exactly. Mm. And uh, now we can also feed into the question um, why um, the MBB of a machine. So yeah. I don't know if you remember, but when I contacted you, um, yeah. I asked you if you could have uh, one hour for me, uh, one to one. Yeah. Um, and I think I offered like 200 or 250 pounds. Yeah. And um, you said, uh, no, this is not what we do. Yeah. Um, so at the beginning, I was puzzled. Why would anyone refuse 250 pounds <laughs> for one hour of time? Yeah. Um, so I thought I started to think there was a serious program at that yeah. point. Um, and I started to investigate uh, what you were proposing, why you were not spending one hour of time with me <laughs> practicing a case yeah. um, for that much money. And I learned that was a um, full technique. Um, that I had to uh, learn mm. was just not a matter of a feedback. Um, so that's why I started to believe that was probably the best option that I could offer myself because online there is plenty of resources. There is mm. ton of information, uh, but I really wanted to have something that was adding value. Um, and also I couldn't waste much time. So when I saw your program, it looked um, very, very focused, um, really added value um, with the minimum amount of time I could possibly invest more on this topic, on this activity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, very, very nice anecdote, actually. So um, if we now expand a little bit, right? So uh, let's talk about how we then actually prepare together, right? So um, what would you say? What has been the major driver of success um, of the preparation program that we created for you? So MBB firms, they are usually still rejecting around like 90, 95% of those candidates who have already passed the CV stage and who are making it into the interview process. So still 90, 95% of these people who are interviewing are usually getting rejected. So what do you think? Why have you been able to convince your interviewers more than almost all the other candidates? Um, so I can share the feedback I had um, mm -hmm. from my interviews. Mm -hmm. uh, the first point was that my answers were, were uh, very structured and easy to understand. It was mm -hmm. easy to follow. Mm -hmm. Um, and the second point was um, that I felt genuine. It didn't feel like I learned a list of framework yeah. to fit absolutely um, in a case, yeah. but it felt like I was honestly thinking about uh, answer um, yeah. and sharing it in a structured way, easy yeah. to follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Uh, I mean, this last point is is indeed absolutely central, right? This because this is something um, that, and I can tell you this as a former interviewer. Um, this is something that is usually very frustrating for an interviewer when you feel that the person is not even talking about the specific situation, but the yeah. person is more trying to remember something that they did in the past and then just reciting it as a poem. Yes, <laughs> right? so exactly. this is this is exactly what is mirrored here through this feedback. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, now, uh, and uh, uh, if you think back on the on the preparation journey, right? Um, how did it feel on an emotional level for you, right? Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, it it probably did not go super smoothly all the time, right? Uh, so, did you push uh, through some challenging, uh, yeah, phases at times? Yeah. So uh, when I joined your program, as I said, um, I already spent about two hundred hours. Um, so after we had our first case, that was actually a disaster. Um, I felt quite demotivated. Um, I felt all the time I invested was pointless. Mm. Um, so what I decided to do was to actually follow one of your advice. I don't know if you remember, but in the first interview, uh, in the first case, sorry, um, you said, um, you have to rewire your brain. <laughs> mm, mm. So I really tried to follow that advice um, very strictly. So what I did, I tried to forget everything I read in the last um, year about uh, case resolution and instead yeah. focusing in following um, religiously um, the 
instruction that you are giving um, in your uh, program, mm. um, step by step. So I rewatched all the video mm. all over again, uh, taking notes, just trying to um, free up my mind from all what was the um, built up that I did before yeah. and just focusing on what was essential and what was uh, part of the program. Yeah. And then uh, I worked a lot uh, with other students. So yeah. I did a lot, a lot of practice where yeah. I was trying to get feedback that was related to your own specific program. Because if I yeah. was looking for something outside, then it was all over back to yeah. random yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. These are these are two very very important points indeed, right? So the one thing is, as you can imagine, we're seeing this again and again, especially those people who come to us who have done already a lot of work, right? Who have done already dozens and dozens of cases, right? Usually, um, at the beginning, we have to be yeah a little bit brutal with them. Usually, at the beginning, we have to tell tell them, you know what? It might be that you need longer than everybody else because we will first have to run some sort of exorcism on you to get all the nonsense out of your head, <laughs> right? Yes. So this is indeed something that sometimes uh yeah uh, will require a little bit uh, more inner strength right to be able to push through this um and then the other thing uh what you mentioned is also very very uh, vital right uh, the opportunity to practice with other program participants who have also been trained and coached by us right um because uh, this this is absolutely vital that you have people that that understand what are you actually doing and and where you are trying to to improve on um as opposed to maybe trying to practice with quote unquote outsiders who do not really understand what you're even doing there. Exactly. Right? Absolutely. That was key. Cool. Cool. So, uh, I mean, since uh, you have an experience profile, right, you're not exactly a graduate. Uh, so I would be curious to know um, um, ex post, right? Uh, after you have gone through all of that, uh, after you have been uh, successful. So what would you recommend to other experienced professionals who are considering to yeah, do a let lateral move into a, a top strategy consulting firm at the MBB level? Do you have any specific hints and tips for them? Uh, my only tips would be um, try to look for professional help that really adds value because if you're experienced, you're probably working full time um, and you probably have very tight um, free time. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And you need uh, also the expectation of the firm is that you do not give answer as a grad um, and therefore you probably don't even apply for a grad role. So you really need to um, focus on added value preparation um, to to make sure you can do this lateral move. Cool, cool, very clear. Well, thank you so much. It was amazing to talk to you, right? And congratulations again. I think yeah. uh, uh, you're 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 starting out on an amazing, amazing journey, right? I mean, these yeah, these MBB careers are like a spaceship sometimes. So <laughs> make yourself ready for something. Um, <laughs> But yeah, for now, um, yeah, as I said, congratulations and thank you so much for, for, for being here and talking about your experience. Perfect. Thank you to you. All right. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye.